Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Svia. Uh, I have tried to film this many times on the YouTube app, but it keeps on cutting me off midway. I'm just going to do it on my other, on my camera, phone camera. App. Anyways, um, today I'm doing tar reading on Jeffree Star again, but this time it's what is going to happen to Jeffrey after this situation? What is going on? What's going to happen to him? And I'm just going to move on to this. I will talk about the whole situation about Shane Dawson's life and Tati and why went treat Trisha Page this comment about Tati I'm going to talk about in another video so I'm just going to move on to the tar reading I already did the tar uh, shuffle the cards did clarify cards and I'm just going to talk about it. like I said it was like midway the video just got cut off I'm just going to do my best to talk about it again I do apologize so I'm just going to say this, please take what resonates. It may not necessarily be true, it's entertainment purpose only. So, um, the bottom deck we have the Ace of Cups, but because I shuffled, because of clarifying, I can't show you. <laughs> um, but we also have the Ace of, uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse. So Ace of Cups is new feelings intuition and for four pentacles in reverse is greediness stinginess and possessiveness with the i'm just going to tell the pile i i still already know how i do my tarot reading uh we have three powers five cards so the first power we have the ace of swords nine of wands Knight of Swords in reverse, the Star card, and the Queen of Wands in reverse. For the first pile, let's talk about Jeffrey himself. He because the Queen of Wands is jealousy, um, greediness. Basically, a lot of negative energy. He's full of jealousy. He's full of greediness. The Ace of Swords is usually a lot of times victorious. But it's coming by the star card. He wished to be victorious in whatever is going on. He's making the last stand. Has the nine of wands. Making the last stand. He's going, whatever it takes, he's going to disregard the consequences. He's going to do whatever it takes. He doesn't care about the consequences. Has the nine of swords in reverse. Then we move on to the second pile. Which is ten of wands in reverse, six of wands in reverse, three of swords in reverse, magician in reverse, and page of pentacles in reverse. So, for the second pile, it's saying that he's trying to move forward, but he's still full of greediness because of the page of pentacles. He's moving forward because of the three of swords, and he's going. He's Whatever he's going to do, he's going to be sort of trickery. And he's kind of out of touch of reality here. When we sort of trickery. But whatever he's going to do, it won't work because Six of Wands in reverse. Um, he's also, it also says that it's not going to succeed, but it's going to. He's, he's lacking recognition, aka he's not going to take accountability for his action. Because we also had we had the first power, we had the Knight of Swords in reverse, disregard of consequences. And we have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands in reverse. So he's stressed, burned out, and that is what's going on for him.
and the outcome pile, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot, Six of Swords in reverse, Two of Wands, and the Moon in reverse. First of all, he's going to make decision because of the Two of Wands. In the direction he's going to take, he's going to try to take control of what's going on. But things are not going his way. He has a lot of unresolved issues and emotional baggage. Insecurity, emotional baggage, unresolved issues. He has the Six of Swords in reverse. He's not moving forward, basically. Because um, Six of Swords usually means you're moving forward. And we have the Moon in reverse, which means he's feeling fear, confusion. He's desperate. He's going to do what it takes to gain control, resources to trickery, and trying to get out of this situation. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Which basically means he's obsessed. There's obsessiveness for him, in him. And then I'm going to move on to the clarification that I did so far. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which means luxury. Queen of Cups, it usually means compassion, calm, and comfort. What I'm getting here is that he's trying to take comfort in his luxury. He's full of luxury stuff. He has a lot of luxury stuff, aka money. And the other card that's just popped out <laughs> when I try to clarify was the devil card addiction playfulness lust weakness the devil is the devil and the card that clarified a lot of things is the five of swords he's going to try to win no matter the cost uh, he's going to win at all costs. Like I said, it coincides with the Knight of Swords in reverse, and he's not. He's going to disregard consequences. And the other ones that pop up is Three of Cups in reverse. Which is lots of gossip. He's most likely going to use gossip. He's going to be over in, have this overindulgence, a lot of gossip, definitely. Um, because in the upright, it's a celebration of happiness, com friendship, community, but it's not because in, it is in reverse. And the card that also popped out is the death card. Death. Is not mean does not mean death. In this case, it's a new beginning or end of cycle. What I'm seeing here, something's going to end. Whatever is going to end, I try I clarify the death card because I want to make understand what it means. The card that popped up as soon as I tried to <laughs> clarify the death card was the tower card. Chaos, lots of chaos. And when I tried to clarify the tower and the death card, I got the five of cups in reverse. He's trying to move on. He's trying to. But it's not happening. Because we have the K the the tower card in reverse. The tower and the death card upright. Which somebody's ending, which for Jeffrey, it's going to be a sudden upheaval, broken pride, a disaster for him. Whatever is going on, it's going to end as a disaster for him. Maybe end of cycle for him. And he's trying to move on, but no, it's not happening. And I'm going to clarify once more. This is where I stopped last time, so please clarify the cards for us. Clarify 
more on the death card and tarot card, please. Please clarify. Oh. War of Swords. Trying to have some rest. Please clarify. Ace of Cups in reverse because I put the um, cups back in the power when the um, try to clarify and shuffle the clarify so it's back in the pile and we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups contemplation. Eight of Swords. Okay. So, like I said, he's contemplating. Um, he has this connectedness. He's contemplating, and he's also have so his there's emptiness, emotional loss, block, creativity. Has the Ace of Cups in reverse, and he has the Eight of Swords in reverse. It uh, in the upright. He feels. This because air source is basically imprisonment and entrapment. As you can see, she's trapped around the source imprisonment, but it's also means self victimization. I can so with these cards for up source, he's trying to. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling he's trying to manipulate, self victimize. Try probably trying to say that he needs the rest in terms of mental health. Um at most he's feeling the emptiness at a loss, contemplating what he should do. He's feeling disconnected as well. But yeah, I think this is what I'm getting from the cards, what I'm feeling. Despite how negative it is, the cards, um, <sighs> could be ending of cycle. He's going to have an ending, he's go whatever is going on with him, whatever is happening, his empire is falling apart. Broken pride, disaster, and it's an end of cycle for him. Because remember, I was trying to clarify these two cards, especially this card, but this one also popped up. So these two main cards pretty much clarified the whole thing about what is going to happen with Jeffree Star. Like I said, take what resonates. It may not necessarily be true. Um, only time will tell and at most please take this as entertainment purpose only and but I do know for sure he's going to do what he can to win at all costs regardless he's going to disregard I can't speak today he's going to disregard the consequences he's going to lack recognition not taking accountability and that would be his downfall he's going to resort to trickery Gossip, trying to take control, going to make decision. Despite his emotional baggage, confusion, and fear, and all the unresolved issues. So yeah, this is the thing. I'm going to say this about narcissists that they are their own worst enemy. They can, they will succeed until the point that all the manipulation is just, nope, no more. And I think it just reached that point for him and things did not go so well. 
no matter how much he take comfort in his luxury, he's gonna be isolated alone in the end. I don't know if he's going to discard Shane Dawson. More than likely he might, can't say. But this is what I'm seeing here. Uh, in regards to Shane Dawson, uh, I guess I can I will do that in another video. And I'll tell we video about Shane Dawson, what's gonna to happen to him. At the moment we can only tell he Getting his karma. This is what I believe in. I believe in karma. But yeah. So I hope this helps. This clarify things. This, like I said, is entertainment purpose only. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys.